Dreams don't work unless you do, that's a given. But I want to really talk to you about the five things that you actually really need to know. So, number one is going to be tackle a real problem. Number two, form an exceptional team. Three, productize your breakthrough. Four, strike partnerships. And five, gain first mover advantage. Um, I'm going to start with number one, tackle a real problem. Uh, first thing to say, I quickly realized how rewarding maths can be. So this is actually the Habs 11 plus. And uh, that was my reward for getting a scholarship. Really got into maths to start with. And then that's a few years later, a uh, research project at Cambridge um, in the group of one of the greats, um, Professor Stephen Morgan. That paved the way for me to go to Chevron. Uh, so they're in Houston, Texas. NG super major. And I was drawn to the fact that the, the, the scale of the problems that were being solved there. In, in, that, in the energy industry, you need to be able to define your targets. And... Um, the problem was clearly defined as how do you increase drilling accuracy? So wells um, depicted there, and these are wells costing tens of millions of dollars each. And this, this was a very interesting time because there's a tremendous increase in compute power, so much smarter algorithms could be applied to existing data, and that was allowing optimal placement of the wells. Um, and that allowed, that opened up several business opportunities as well, so I'm going to come on and talk about the entrepreneurship side of things. But the most important thing in this point one that I want to mention is that even before you think about entrepreneurship, you need a really clearly defined problem, and in this case was how to increase drilling strike rates. Uh, you need an exceptional team. So in my case, that was really on a plate because I had my uh, PhD uh, supervisor as my co-founder, so he's a pioneer in this field. And we had intellectual property as well, so um, a concept had been patented, which is a fundamental breakthrough in cyber imaging. And this is just a picture of us during lockdown, so the point here is even after you've made your breakthrough, you have to keep working on things, keep innovating, things never stand still. And the patent, all that gives you is the concept, it then comes to implementation and commercialization. Um, and that's where the company was, uh, that's what the company was set up for. And that's how um, it's been able to grow in its first few years. But at the heart of it all was a fundamental breakthrough, and that allowed the team to come together. Move to point three, so let's talk about the technology itself. So this is called Productize Your Breakthrough. Uh, this, is, this is an example. Uh, the setting is deep water, northwest shelf of Australia. Um, first thing to notice, this is a 2D slice through an image of the Earth. And um, it goes from 1.4 kilometers at the top down to below 3 kilometers. And the colors are the prediction that you make when you're drilling. And this is if you just apply a conventional um, technique. And then you, we're making a comparison with the borehole that's been drilled. And you can see that the two things misalign. And then you apply our technique, and, and this is the result. So you get almost spot on result. So this is really just to show visually as concisely as possible how innovation then turns into something tangible. And then what's the difference between these two results? Well, it's what's behind that pattern is the cross-function toolbox that's been created within the company. Um, so you see the misalignment on the left and on the right, you see it basically spot on. What I'm going to show you next is um, the algorithm in action, and then with the stuff that you have, the business side of it, how do you actually productize this and go from something that's a good idea, but good ideas that can easily leak out for someone else to implement and um, monetize. So um, we start from this model, and we can see the structure within the earth. This also goes down to over five kilometers um, in terms of depth. It's a 2D slice, and you can see the structure going up, and there's a tagline at the bottom, which is meant to be a bit of a pun, yeah, it's going from nothing to something. That's what's happening in the algorithm, but that's also what you have to do if you want to be an entrepreneur, especially in the deep tech space. Um, and that's the final result that's come out. And the points to highlight are, one, it runs on the cloud, so this is like training a very large-scale neural network, so it uses thousands of compute instances simultaneously. What you're seeing there is a 2D slice, so this is actually a 3D model of the subsurface, so spanning hundreds of thousands of square kilometers. So actually there's millions of pixels which are being optimized over. That's what requires the uh, computational power. <clears throat> and number three, you actually saw that model build up through iterations. 
So that's very important for the business model because that actually means that you sell this solution iteration by iteration. And what you need to do is create a business model which allows you to sell on that unit basis, but also benefit from the upside. So the better the accuracy that you're providing to your customers, the more value you capture through the process. And the cloud allows you to do that. And that leads on to my point four, partners allow you to do that. You're a small player in a huge industry. You have to partner up where there's synergies with the biggest players. And that allows you to launch your brand and also gain brand recognition. Uh, so this is AWS, one of the major cloud providers and um, our solution runs cloud natively on, on their hardware. On the right hand side, that's the toolbox. And if we look at branding for a second, you know, we're all coming at this from a science background, but actually we need to think about the, um, how well this is going to be um, portrayed and be able to, and, and the attention it's going to get from the wider audience and from um, a variety of customers. So the product is, um, is known, it's called X Waveform Inversion or X Wave Imaging. And um, those are the components of the toolbox. And X actually really standard, stood for next generation, but it's actually moved on to also stand for extreme now because this algorithm is the one that works in very complex environments where competing algorithms basically fail. So um, you really have to capture your um, standout capabilities within your product very early on if you're going to get market traction. Point five, the importance of gaining first mover advantage. So if you have some useful technology, I just talked about one application area, you have to think about um, how it can apply across different domains. Um, and in particular, in our case, um, that relates to um, enabling net zero via carbon capture and storage. So using the same technology, but for injecting CO2 inside the earth. And that's something you're going to hear about in a later talk. But the main point I wanted to make here, if you want to get really big scale and grow, the important thing is actually for your, um, to be able to scale horizontally, for there to be multiple applications of the same underlying intellectual property, which was the case uh, for us. So uh, carbon capture and storage is an obvious one, geothermal energy is another one and then, and then more applications. So uh, you have your speciality, but it crosses into different domains. Um, so that actually covers all my five points. Um, um, so, so there they are. And uh, probably as a recap, I would say um, point four is one that we've worked on most recently to get those partnerships to get um, the traction that's required. And yeah, I think it's worth reiterating. The fact is you have to, to keep innovating. So we're going to keep creating technology uh, that allows us to see deeper and see things that others have missed. And we're going to be trying to um, make that scale across different application areas at the same time. Good, thank you. Very much.